Hello and welcome to my series on healthy in conversation skills. I'm hoping the first four tips have invited you to consider your regular ways of conversing and opened options for healthier ways of responding. Let's address tip number five today. Forming and maintaining social relationships are fundamental to the makeup of human beings. In fact, many of us find our meaning and purpose in life through or in our relationships and this is especially true for our close-knit cultures. In the process sometimes, however, the dynamics of our relationships, especially the intimate ones, can become skewed or lopsided. Over time, without awareness, one of the party in the relation begins to feel left out, alone or discounted in that relationship. By the time we become aware of our space that has shrunken in that relational space, the other party would have got quite comfortable being the spotlight for most of the times. In other words, the you and me in the relationship lose balance while one gains more importance over time. Remember, we don't even realize it initially. So my tip number five is this. Aim at striking a balance between the three parties involved in a relationship. Yes, three. The you, the me and the us. A healthy conversation is always mindful of the needs and rights of the two people in the relationship as well as the third gestalt identity that forms between them called us. It does not mean that we keep score of how many times each of us got to take the spotlight because scores are good for playgrounds and our relationships are certainly no games. My invitation therefore is to consider this. In your conversations, aim at striking a balance between the you, me and us. Sometimes when you're in difficulty, I'd mindfully choose to keep myself aside for a while give you the center space to vent out about your feelings towards a challenge and offer to you the love and support that you need to get through that. Sometimes when I'm in difficulty, I'd ask for a center space in my relationship, the time to vent out how I feel and ask for your love and support that will strengthen me to go through the challenge. Sometimes when we are both in difficulty, we'd unite together as us, place the challenge in the spotlight hold each other while we take turns to vent out how we feel about that challenge and then brainstorm how we want to cope with that together as us. This does take efforts, but I believe that a regular practice of the first four tips will help you get to this strategy a little easier. Till then, spread your love and care around like confetti and stay encouraged for tip number six is coming up tomorrow. Bye for now.